teams when you look at their depth. Sometimes that can be a challenge for a coaching staff. No doubt about it. Anytime you've got to divvy up minutes, somebody's going to be unhappy. But you need a deep roster if you want to contend. Now let's take a look at Denver's opening lineup. First and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Knicks shooting their first free throws of the game. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Driving to the basket. It's deflected. To the inside. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Assisted by number 50. Now the Knicks with it. Takes a three. A shot that time, not on target. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young First talent. Developing their talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. Number 50. And he sinks the second. First quarter just over a minute played. the long-range jumper three. five points in the game and he likes to get in a rhythm early nice three Knicks lead five three that shot no good now, how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot yeah not easy to do there and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. He can't hit that shot. Knicks have gone just one of four to get this game started. And it's Denver with the rebound. To the middle. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Zero. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. From outside, off the mark. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled the guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. There's the triple. Boom, he jams it straight down. Number that is three. a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, Nick and that's Slade. nothing new coming from him, GA. Seven, he five. loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. And it's blocked. One forty-nine left in the first quarter. The offensive rebound. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. The Knicks with the lead. Fires it up. Misses the jumper. Denver shooting in the early going here. Pretty dreadful. 22%. Top of the key. Kept alive. No good that time. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time, they're not backing off. We've got 108 left in the first. Six on the shot clock. Sinks the triple. He's got 10. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Softly drops in the floater. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is.
from way outside. The next rebound. Tries again. Oh, that's blocked. For three. And no good that time. It's chipped. No good on the last second attempt there. At the end of one, a closer contested game so far. Nick's out front. They're up by three. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And when you consider how the Knicks are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. Zero. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. Well, that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. On the wing. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of Number shot down. 27. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work Zero. in the half court. So it's New York now. The Nuggets getting the bucket. From 13, the shot will not fall. And that's how you want to see defense play. Got right up in his face to bother the shot. That's going to make any scorer uncomfortable when you get that aggressive. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Releases. And too long on the shot. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. A three ball. And they get it back. Can't connect from 13 feet out. New York trailing. And it's blocked. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Shot on the wing. That's not going to do it either. He's 0 for 5. Knicks have gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. And one of the unwritten rules of team play, Brent, don't throw your teammate a grenade. What are those? Well, I got a lot of those in my years in Seattle, and I won't mention his name, but the initials were Gary Payton. Look, the shot clock's winding down. You're standing open, and the guard just gives it to you with 1.5 seconds to go, and you got to shoot the ball. So those are called live grenades. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Here he goes. And down it goes, jamming that one home. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, in the first half. every possession matters. Count that Number bucket. Two. Nuggets trail. Next lead. 15 13. The shot misses. The Knicks have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Off with the layup. And a lot of contact on that Next one, so he'll shoot two here. Number 26. And a chance First for just a second out. to check out First the season. scoring breakdown for the Knicks. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting well from the three-point line. 
That's got to be a welcome sight. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. Denver shooting is definitely lagging at the moment. They're just 30% in the second quarter. Two left to play here in the Side second quarter. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. First team foul. There's a minute left in the first half of basketball. New York moving the ball around. Pocket six, and the shot goes in. Number and the Knicks six. lead by two. Denver with Knicks the ball. 17, 15. Launches a three, trains the three-pointer. Number one. Five points in the game. Point Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Called in by the Nuggets. You yeah, take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. The three. And again, Denver Number with the 50. triple. it for the first half of action what's been a That's very close game half here for the score nuggets lead by four and we'll be back for the second 17. half following the break keep it right here the on nuggets. 2k sports 21 and now the 2k sports halftime show hey welcome back to 2k sports ernie johnson alongside shaquille o'neal and the jet kenny smith let's get to it a pretty close game for the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. They stayed within arm's reach in that opening period. Five points, their largest deficit. After a slow start, they... That about... got second half action for you and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession Denver leading by four and he's going up for the alley-oop oh and they get in the way of the alley-oop not to be good play defensively and for Denver gotta take care of the ball they'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless that's right and that's severe right there. How about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Takes the three. Down to five on the shot clock. Buries it from three-point range. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. Remains New York ball. Let's the three fly, and it's Denver with the rebound. slam dunk to finish it off wow and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this ouch greg that is definitely an emphasis jam a big apostrophe or exclamation point maybe even a question mark there's the three sinks the three-pointer well, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Nuggets lead 26 22.
Shot clock at six. The putback is no good. Knicks trailed by four. Free throw line jump shot. That shot off. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Two points. That one goes. He's got five. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Hey, Greg, we love watching T.J. McConnell on the porch. It's like watching a guard from a couple decades ago. And Kevin, this guy's just an old school point guard. His focus is on defense and passing, and great at both of those as an undersized guard in today's NBA. There's the drive, and the rebound goes to the Knicks. <laughs> when you are wrapped up that tightly in the mid-range, you are better off just moving the ball. Yeah, that's one where you hope if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes a different choice. Nuggets lead, 28, 24. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Offline from the top of the key. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. High arcing shot. A second chance effort. And it's good on the layup. Number Number six. Six. And the Nuggets lead by six. The hard work on the offensive class. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. One fourteen left to play in the third. And, and guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> you cannot leave him alone like that, especially from long range. There's 49 seconds left here in the third quarter. And the shot is good. Number That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Misses the layup. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And it's Denver with the rebound. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession Number defensively 15. very seriously. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. And we've reached the end of the third. That's the end of the Denver third. Denver on top with the of score. seven. And we'll have the start of a fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. The Nuggets, 35. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Now sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Low block shot on the way. 
uses the glass to drop it in. Great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. I'll take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. And for the Nuggets and for New York. And good that time. Denver leading by three. Nuggets lead. 35. 32. And Denver again with the bucket. Number Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Nick shooting a pretty low. 34% thus far. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. And it's Denver with the rebound. To the paint. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Down low. Misses from close range. Nuggets have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. He's off on that one. Knicks trailed by five. And there's the drive. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And sometimes as a point guard, you got to take things into your own hands. Yeah, right. It's okay to be selfish when you have a chance like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. He asked his team to dig deep. He said, I know you're tired, but they're tired too. It's about who can give more than the other Number guy at this point. Show me what you can give. That's from Back to you. Thank you, David. Zero. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Zero. First person, and a look at how the hustle team, game has been going for the Nuggets. Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. Well, something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high-percentage looks getting out there on the fast break. Inside. No good with the layup. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Just five to shoot. Misses from short range. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And how about the incredible timing on that alley? He absolutely hammered it down. Steps back and fights. Denver keeping it going. A new 14-second clock. Misses the three. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. The shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Nuggets moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Looking to end his cold spell, and it's blocked. One and nine left in the fourth quarter of this one. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Three game winding down and they just keep changing leads and guys no separation yet and i really don't think we're going to see any all the way down denver calls timeout they're down by one and uh, 101 left in the fourth quarter and now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game and the way he's made his mark with his work inside he's just been a slasher tonight Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And here they go. Money! That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. 
43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It falls. Number 50. And that shot brings them to within just one. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. Down low. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. That one rolling around and runs out. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this hole spell, but the struggle continues. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Number 16. First perfect. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Yeah, how about the nerves there? Those free throws put them in a very good position. Three points clear. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're behind by three. 11 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. No good on the quick three. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a five-point game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. So it's New York picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg...